against you and against our neighbour, in thought and word and deed, through negligence, through weakness, through our own deliberate fault. We are truly sorry and repent for all our sins. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, who died for us, forgive us all that is past, and grant that we may serve you in newness of life, to the glory of your name. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and keep you in life eternal, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And the college for the first Sunday in Lent. Let us pray. Almighty God, whose Son Jesus Christ fasted 40 days in the wilderness and was tempted as we are, yet without sin, give us grace to discipline ourselves in obedience to your Spirit. As we, you know our weakness, so may we know your power to save through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. And the collect for Ash Wednesday. Almighty and everlasting God, you hate nothing that you have made, and forgive the sins of all those that have penitent. Create in making us new and contrite hearts, that we, lamenting our sins and acknowledging our wretchedness, may receive from you the God of all mercy, perfect remission and forgiveness. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Please be seated for the reading. A reading from the book of Genesis. God said to Noah and to his sons with him, As for me, I am establishing my covenant with you and your descendants after you, and with every living creature that is with you, the birds, the domestic animals, and every animal of the earth with you, as many as came out of the ark. I establish my covenant with you, that never again shall all flesh be cut off by the waters of a flood. God said, This is the sign of the covenant that I make between me and you, and every living creature that is with you for all future generations. I have set my power in the clouds, and it shall be a sign of the covenant between me and the earth. When I bring clouds over the earth, and the bow is seen in the clouds. I will remember my covenant that is between me and you and every living creature of all flesh. 
and the waters shall never again overflood to destroy all flesh. When the bow is in the clouds, I will see it and remember the everlasting covenant between God and every living creature of all flesh that is on the earth. God said to Noah, This is the sign of the covenant that I have established between me and all flesh that is on the earth. For the word of the Lord. Thank us be to God. Please be stand for gospel. Praise to you, O Christ, King of eternal glory. The Lord is a great God. O oh, that day you would listen to his voice. Harden not your hearts. Praise, Praise to you, O Christ, King, King of eternal glory. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Hear the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Mark. In those days, Jesus came from Nazareth of Galilee and was baptized by John in the Jordan. And just as he was coming up out of the water, he saw the heavens torn apart and the Spirit descending like a dove on him. And a voice came from heaven, You are my beloved, my son, with you I am well pleased. And the Spirit immediately drove him out into the wilderness. And he was in the wilderness for forty days, tempted by Satan, and he was with the wild beasts, and the angels waited on him. Now after John was arrested, Jesus came to Galilee, proclaiming the good news of God, saying, The time is fulfilled, and the kingdom of God has come near. Repent and believe in the good news. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Christ. Please be seated. <coughs> In the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. This morning's Old Testament reading is well known by so many, whether as a child or as an adult who have been introducing them to the story. The story of the flood of Noah's Ark is loved by all. Children have had toys of all the animals in pairs going up into that enormous boat. There are ornaments, child's bed hangings, so many things related to the ark and the animals. Then there's the question of the rainbow, a symbol of hope. When Genesis was written, there was no scientific instruments to measure light refraction. So no explanation as to how the rainbow appears after a storm. So those gentle God-fearing people years ago explained it by saying it was a sign from God, a covenant, a binding promise, that he would never again send down such a deluge as to swamp the world. God promises he will never desert his people again. I suspect those who face flooding every year must wonder why, but then we know it is due to global warming and other climatic variations. Not that that makes the situation of being flooded any more acceptable. And personally, I can't think of anything much worse than being flooded, but I do digress. Back to the Old Testament reading. A very picturesque description of the rainbow and a definite promise or covenant that God makes with Noah. This promise made by God is quite unconditional. Whenever it rains, there will be a rainbow, as long as the sun is shining. And that's what we see now. We, of course, realize that it is the sun breaking the water droplets into factions of light causing the rainbow. This is a sensible reason of the rainbow, but I like to think of it in a more romantic type of way. A symbol of hope, a symbol of beauty, a sign of good things to come. During this last year, the rainbow has been used as just that. Pictures of rainbows have been produced in the windows, often by children, showing support to the NHS 
and those who are, or whose families are, suffering from this awful COVID-19. There is hope at the end of the rainbows, a saying many feel comforted by. There is the famous song sung by Judy Garland, Somewhere Over the Rainbow. In true Hollywood fashion, it promises a better life over the rainbow, where troubles melt like lemon drops and dreams really do come true. A bit fanciful, maybe, but does it matter escaping just for a short, magical, refreshing moment? And using those words, reflecting on the beauty of the rainbow, may it bring comfort, peace, and a good sense of the future to many. In the Gospel reading, Jesus offers a brighter future. The time is fulfilled, and the Kingdom of God has come near. Repent and believe in the good news. A great message of hope, come near and believe in the good news that the Gospels tell us. Unlike God, the Father's statement about the covenant of the rainbow, Jesus the Son makes the believers less passive. They have to make the effort to get to know about the good news of the Kingdom of God that Jesus himself is proclaiming. Not only do the believers then, but all down the centuries, people like us have to make an effort in believing and accepting the marvellous message contained in the Gospels. That God, in his infinite, unconditional love, sent his Son to earth to spread the message. Jesus did so in his ministry on earth, culminating in the events of Holy Week and the glorious resurrection of Easter Sunday. Approximately three years, three hard years of sometimes discomfort and ridicule and abuse, Jesus told the people of his wonderful message of love. Unlike the song Over the Rainbow, which perhaps was wishful thinking and a fairy story, Jesus' message of love and hope is true. God is with us at all times. For those who are suffering through this dreadful pandemic might find it difficult to accept that statement, God is with us. But as Christians, that is what we firmly believe, even if it, at times it does not feel so. God made a covenant with his people. Never would he desert them. Jesus with his disciples made the same covenant, that he would be with them. And so he does for us, through the bread and wine in remembrance, he is with us. This Lent may give you more time for reflection, but if you only stop for a moment when you see a rainbow to reflect the beauty of it, its message of hope and the knowledge that God is with us, that is a very precious moment indeed. Let us now stand to confess our faith in that God who is with us at all times, but particularly perhaps in the rainbow. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, the eternal God of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten of man, of one being with the Father, through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, was incarnate from the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and was taken down. For our sake, he was crucified on the conscious pilot. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day, he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven. And is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will come to an end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one. 
holding the Catholic and Apostolic Church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. In the power of the Spirit and in union with Christ, let us pray to the Father. <laughs> church councils, and especially our church wardens, as we progress through the interregnum to, towards seeking a new rector. Remember especially Chris Miles and Roger Elias as they prepare to select a candidate for us. We give thanks for all who have helped in these strange and difficult times, either as the council or behind the scenes. Lord, in your mercy, Amen. Remember before you, O Lord, the members of the royal family, Her Majesty the Queen and Prince Philip, hoping he soon returns to Windsor. We also remember other members of the family, especially the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, as they approach their new life. Lord, in your mercy. Amen. As hopefully the young people will start to prepare to return to school, we will think of them, their teachers, their parents, and all who are involved. We hope that that return will be a safe one for everyone. Lord, in your mercy, Amen. we continue to remember all who are ill, especially if they are in hospital in critical care. We gave thanks for the dedication of the medical staff. And we're asked this morning to remember Stephanie Green, Ellie, Justin Price, Anne Anderson, Jean Pursley, Roy Cox, Adam Orbell, Oakley Andrews, Margaret Pink, Pat Omeroyd, Peter Ewan, Helen Bagg, Gemma, Brenda Thomas, Gerald Scullin, Chris Edmondson, Bunny Drews, David and Denise Wooden, Bill Reed, Dawn Jeffrey, Tony Benstead, Ben Proctor, Martin Stiles, Eden, Daphne Hughes, Doreen Wall, Pauline O'Connor, Peter Hall, Judy King. We also remember any known to us and those who are known only to God. Lord, in your mercy, yeah. hear our prayer. We give thanks for the lives and examples of those who have died recently. And here we remember Michael Harden, Nellie Lee, Reverend Callan David Knight, Geraldine Cox. And we ask that those who mourn may know your loving comfort and strength in this time of sorrow. Merciful Father, I accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ. Please will you stand for the peace. Since we are justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, who has given us access to his grace. And the peace of the Lord be always with you. Perhaps you can just share it by looking at everybody.
So we say the prayer over the gift. God of wisdom, may the light of your eternal word, our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ, lead us in holiness and guide us in glory. We ask this in his name. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is indeed right and good to give you thanks and praise, Almighty God and Everlasting Father, through Jesus Christ, your Son. For in these forty days you led us into the desert of repentance, and through a pilgrimage of prayer and discipline, we may grow in grace and learn to be your people once again. Through fasting, prayer, and acts of service, you bring us back to your generous heart. Through the study of your holy word, you open our eyes to your presence in the world and free our hands to welcome others into the radiant splendour of your love. As we prepare to celebrate the Easter feast with joyful hearts and minds, we bless you for your mercy and join with the saints and angels for ever praising you and saying, Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your Lord, you are holy indeed, the source of all holiness. Grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit and according to your holy will, these gifts of bread and wine may be to us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ who in the same night that he was betrayed, took bread and gave him thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat. This is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it, in remembrance of me. Amen. Great is the mystery of faith. Christ, Christ has died. died. Christ, Christ is risen. Christ, Christ will come again. again. And so, Father, calling to mind his death on the cross, his perfect sacrifice made once for the sins of the whole world, rejoicing in his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension, and looking for his coming in glory, we celebrate this memorial of our redemption. As we offer you this, our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, we bring before you this bread and this cup, and we thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. Send the Holy Spirit on your people, and gather into one in your kingdom all who share this one bread and one cup, so that we in the company of all the saints may praise and glorify you forever, through Jesus Christ our Lord, by whom, and with whom, and in whom, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory be yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. We break the bread of life, and the life is the light of the world. God is here among us, light in the midst of us. Bring us to the light of life. The body of our Lord Jesus Christ, which was given for you, Preserve your body and soul unto everlasting life. Take and eat this in remembrance that Christ died for you, 
and feed on him in your heart by faith with thanksgiving. Amen. The blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, which was shed for you, preserve your body and soul unto everlasting life. Drink this in remembrance that Christ's blood was shed for you, and be thankful. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us peace. God's holy gifts for God's holy people. Jesus Christ is holy. Jesus Christ is Lord. To the glory of God the Father. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in this holy sacrament of the altar. I love you above all things, and I passionately desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, Come spiritually into my soul, so that I may unite myself wholly to you, now and evermore. Amen.
Let us pray. Lord God, you have renewed us by the living bread from heaven. By it you nourish our faith, increase our hope, and strengthen our love. Teach us always to be hungry for him who is the true and living bread. Enable us to live by every word that proceeds from out of your mouth. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. God give you grace to grow in holiness, to not die yourselves, take up your cross and follow him. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be with you and all those whom you love, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord.